Hey, what's your shingle bus and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we will share with you guys about Biofilm. And this question comes from South Africa. Satan Stream actually asks that there are a lot of breeders in South Africa that do not think that Biofilm is required for streamlets and that they prefer a non-Biofilm pathway to actually breed streams and for the streamlets to survive. And one of the things that stems from this is really about what is the actual natural food in the wild for streams. So in the wild, we can actually see that in many of the cases and many journals that we see is that biofilm is the natural food that is found in the wild. So that is very important for the streams because that is their first and natural food. So that's the reason why, you know, um, we use a lot of like you know, Calex balls and Lupau balls to actually create a lot of biofilm in addition to the biofilm that is already in the tank. So for example, over here, we have one tank here that we can actually see that it is uh, cycling. So this tank is actually cycling and we have already introduced the ball in the tank to create sufficient biofilm and additional biofilm for the streams that's gonna come into this tank. So whenever we plan for such a tank, like a reset, we wanted to keep in mind, okay, what will be the streams that will actually be coming into this tank. And we will be placing a lot of uh, streamlets here. And that's the reason why we included the biofilm ball <coughs> in the reset. So one of the few main important things about the biofilm ball is that as we pan across this, uh, this setup, so I'm gonna sort of move this over here. We can actually see that, you know, uh, the biofilm ball is uh, constantly being eaten. Uh, that means uh, a lot of streams will visit there. And it's not just for streamlets. I think that is a misconception that biofilm is only for streamlets. It's actually not just for streamlets. It's actually for all kinds of streams because of all ages. Over here you can see and then we have this one as well, which for those who have followed me uh, on other videos, you can actually see that this tank used to be very, very bare with a lot of uh, with plants, but the entire plant got stripped down to its roots because there was not enough biofilm. We have green wall, but still yet we do not have enough biofilm. And that's the reason why uh, we included you know, this additional supplement for biofilm as the streams actually consume a lot of biofilm uh, when they when they feast it is constant 24 hours of feasting they will continue to graze on uh, materials and the green wall actually do not provide uh, sufficient biofilm so that's the why that's why we enhance with additional biofilm the green wall or the green algae do not so the streams do not really uh, consume the green algae in that sense because the green algae is where the biofilm actually grows grows on it creates an uneven surface and then the biofilm actually grows on so i just top out the water on uh, in this tank you can actually see some very interesting uh, sign that the uh, all the streams are actually on the top of the the tank they are all on the top of the tank uh, trying to graze on the biofilm that is being created um, when they are near the tank surface because when the water evaporates it comes down and when we top it up it goes back up and that area has you know uh, additional food food source and biofilm being created and that's the reason why now you see after a top up the streams are all above the uh, water line or near the water line to actually consume the biofilm but of course not all streams are created the same so some of the streams are still grazing on the tank uh, floor and then some are continue grazing on the calyx ball the importance of streams consuming the natural food is that it is actually natural so in nature they are they are first food source is actually biofilm so it's very important that we introduce or we have sufficient biofilm in the tank that allows all the streams to consume them because 
for example, on the next tank on the left, you can actually see that there's a lot of streams. There's a lot of streams. And if there is not enough biofilm, then the entire colony will not continue to grow and there will not be more babies. Uh, so that is a very important point. So if you want to have more babies, you actually need to actually feed the tank more. And the reason why you need to feed the tank more is that it will create more biofilm for the streams to actually consume on. So do I actually use this ball for all the tanks? Actually, I do not use the ball for all the tanks because I will have to be very selective of where I use them. I will always use them, for example, in colonies like this, when they start to grow and grow, I will then introduce it. Because if I do not have sufficient biofilm again, coming back to that, is that the entire tank will not be able to sustain the number of streams in the tank. So if you want a big colony, you need to have a lot of biofilm, available biofilm for the streams to actually consume. When there's food, then there's life. Without food, the streams will not be able to breed well, they will not be able to settle. So the streams are animals. So these animals, they will know when they think that the, the, the tank environment is actually conducive for them to actually uh, breed. And that's the, one of the main criteria is actually food. Because without food, there will not be sufficient uh, energy to actually uh, produce the saddle and then after that the eggs and then the babies. So it's fairly important that, for example, when you want to have a bigger colony to have a little bit more food, a little bit more biofilm, and of course, great water parameters. One of the interesting part over here is that I received a comment from a Italy stream breeder. Uh, it's over here, and he shared that you know, biofilm is one of the only one of the one of the two food that actually help to continue to make or allow the streams, especially the white streams, to continue to be white. And the reason is because it does not contain any beta carotene. It does not contain any of this um, color enhancing things uh, or addition, which a lot of stream food actually does. Like for example, even carrot will have beta carotene. So it, it will then affect the slight coloration of the stream. So I think that is where uh, he is driving from. He is letting us know that, you know, uh, to maintain the whiteness of the stream, it is actually great to have the biofilm. So feeding them biofilm will not discolor a white stream. So over here we can also see that you know uh, when we have a lot of streams, uh, it is actually mindful to actually place them. You know when we look at look at uh, other tanks as well. So when we have a lot of streams, we want to actually place them there. So how long do I actually uh, put the uh, ball in the tank is really dependent but the golden golden period for this ball to actually be at is 30 days so between 30 to 45 days they work really well because they they develop a lot of biofilm however if let's say you are going on a vacation and you know and i don't have time to actually uh, remove them then definitely i will just leave them there and let them be until i come back to change them and one of the reasons is because uh, why we need to change them is the, the content in the ball will eventually be consumed uh, totally. It will be exhausted and that's where you have to change them. So either they float up or it's, uh, con you know, the content in there is totally gone. So one of the things is that uh, we have also often noticed is that certain streams like for example the uh, Anything that is tiger, like the maybe the uh, black fancy tiger, they have a tendency to actually be more uh, more aggressive in terms of the uh, consumption of the the ball. Uh, not sure why is that. So maybe it's just behavior or uh, in genetics. You can actually you know uh, see them tearing tearing the ball apart. But do not worry because if even if they tear the ball apart. You know, uh, what we normally do is that we actually quickly put in another ball so that it continues to create biofilm. And then the ball that is being broken, you know, the, the, the streams will actually consume the, the ball in there. So once it's consumed, some of the streams actually even consume the entire uh, sock or, you know, the, the sock over here that, you know, we use to contain the uh, ingredients in there. And they consume the entire thing. So leaving just the ceramic ring uh, in the in, in in the tank, so 
like I've mentioned, I do not use for all the tanks. I use on selective ones, especially those that have a lot of uh, streams and for those that I actually want to continue to maintain a big colony like you can see that these are fairly uh, big colonies and you know it's and for those that I actually want to breed like for example uh, this one this this is a lot of shrimp so I put it in and sometimes when you can see that in, in such a tank when I include the uh, biofilm ball the tank water gets cloudy so which means that this tank is actually not uh, it does not have sufficient beneficial bacteria to combat the uh, the ammonia that is being released because all food all food source will eventually uh, release ammonia. I think that's uh, that's a given, and that's also something that you know whenever you see a, a, a cloudy tank, do not be you know too worried because the uh, beneficial bacteria will then start to start to continue to work and produce to you know counter and uh, consume the ammonia source so there are a lot of uh, some of the tanks like some tanks over here uh, which we also put so we wanted to increase the breeding uh, probability so that's the reason why you know we included the ball and to make sure there's sufficient food so like I've mentioned you know not all tanks we actually use the uh, use the ball and for certain tanks that we do not want to actually uh, increase the, the colony size we will then you know, not use the ball and just leave it alone. So you can actually see this one very dark. I'm just gonna, one very dark. Let's see if you can capture that. Yeah, one very dark red devil over there. So yeah, so even you know for biofilm balls, so these are very important thing and it does not discolor the water, it does not create any issues with the, the, the water parameters. It's actually very it's actually helping the water parameters because this is an ammonia source this is something that actually uh, creates the food and then the food is being eaten by the streams and the streams poop and it increases ammonia so it's like a cycle and it is why there's it's, it's important to actually have a constant grazing material in the tank apart from that so right now we also use the uh, baby dust so we also feed in conjunction to having the ball itself so feeding them uh, because you can see that the ball is uh, rather crowded like you know the ball is rather crowded so there will be some streams that will not be able to get there uh, due to aggression so we always supplement other food like for example the baby dust uh, the breeder selects to actually enhance the, the chances for you know some of these very tiny little streamlets that would require some of the extra food so yes you guys enjoy this video and learn something from it um sit and stream i hope you i uh, have answered your question and you know for those who who are new to this channel please remember to subscribe and please feel free to comment in the section below and then just let me know what are some of the questions and i will probably try to get the the video done as well so thank you guys for watching and until next time peace out